right, good day, great livings, and welcome to our video today in which we are going to be looking at how to um, link data between different worksheets. Okay, so here we can see we've got a worksheet in front of us or a workbook in front of us with different sheets 12a, b, and c. And this is dealing with ticket sales for a talent evening. And uh, we can see here that we've got surnames, initials, we've got the number of tickets, uh, we've got the amount owing and the amount paid and the amount outstanding so one of the first things that we can already see is that we need to obviously complete this and then we need to extract the data that's here and bring it through over to these cells over here okay so let's go and do each one and let's go and have a look at this so when it comes to the amount owing obviously if the person was given two tickets and we are told that the tickets have a cost of 20 rand each we need to look at the amount owing first so i'm just going to pop in a formula to say in fact let me just zoom in there and we're going to go equals whatever is in c2 we're going to multiply that by 20 which is the 20 rand now it's going to give me a zero because obviously zero times anything is zero but i'm just going to make sure that this is changed to what's formatted as currency and then i'm going to drag it all the way down and that will give me all the various amounts okay then i'm going to pop in an amount uh, okay we, we obviously have the amount paid here so that's fine so with the amount outstanding we're obviously going to take whatever the amount is that's owing subtract that from the amount that was paid and that should give us our answer so i'm going to drag it all the way down and there we have that sort of okay so now I just want some totals. I'm just going to type in. Um, I'm just going to put that over here. Totals. And what I can simply do is I can just go up to formulas. At the end of this column, I can just go auto sum. You can see what it does there for me. And then I'm going to use the same feature over here. And I'm going to use the same feature over there just to auto sum. Okay. So you can see now when I zoom out, got all the relevant figures in there for 12A. So I'm just, I'm not going to go through each and every one. I'm just going to use 12A as an example. So here we've got 12A and now they're saying to us, well, we want to know the number of tickets that were sold for 12A, the total amount owing for 12A, the total amount paid by 12A, and the total amount outstanding so when i go back to 12a let me just put an auto sum in here as well to count the number of tickets no that's definitely not right let's go auto sum yeah didn't highlight everything so we're just going to drag that up and enter here we go that should be fine so let's go and do this now so if i go to number of tickets sold and I click in the cell over here. What do I basically want to do? I want to bring in this item into the cell. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to click in my cell and I'm going to say equal sum. I'm going to open my bracket. Okay, I'm going to go to 12A. I'm going to click on the worksheet. You can already see what's happening up here. It's showing me that I'm in a different worksheet. And I'm going to click on the total number of tickets. And then I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. Now, not only does it bring the number over, but you can see there's the formula. It's saying equal sum, open bracket, and it's bringing in the formula that was located in 12A. So let's, let's just go and have a look at this. Let's say uh, one more person bought a ticket. That moves to 27. You can see everything changes. And there you can see the number of tickets sold, sold changes. Okay, and that's exactly what we want to see. That's how we've been able to link uh, our data between these worksheets. Let's go to the amount owing. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go equal sum, open our bracket, and we're going to go to 12A. We're looking at the amount owing. We're looking at that total. I'm going to click on the total, hit enter, and there it brings that in. And again, if I increase my sales over here, and that changes to 560, it will change there as well. And learners, that is how we go about the process of linking data within our worksheets.